Hi, it's Erin Wild, and we are around town at one of my favorite places. It's starting to feel like Memorial Day. We are at Reunion Grounds in Granbury with Hood County Stampede. Now, Wes Stevenson, tell me all the things you do. Uh, around town, I uh, raise a family, got kids. That's First a main person. thing I do. <laughs> and, uh, Most important thing. So, uh, I like getting involved with the church, the community, and being a part of that. And that's where we got into the Hood County Stampede. Tell me about the Hood and, County Stampede. Uh, so it's a fun activity. It's a professional rodeo, PRCA. Uh, we come in here May 25th. Yeah, and I feel like it's always a Memorial Day thing, isn't yes, it? Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, we found a niche in that, and uh, everybody knows it's a light town. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of visitors seem to come in around that time, and we've had good success with the crowds, and that's worked for everybody. We can also get the top cowboys in the world. Really? Uh, as people don't know, uh, a lot of these guys, they go to the northwest and out of Texas uh, when it comes summertime. Mm -hmm. And so, although uh -huh. when you see the National Finals Rodeo on TV, pro I would say an easy 40% of the top cowboys in the world come out of Texas. Come summertime, they're gone. Right. So <laughs> I get it. The Memorial Day weekend is about the last time last ah. weekend that you can get all the top guys. And so that's a big part of the reason why we put it over Memorial Day weekend. We can It works for our crowd and it works for our Cowboys to be able okay. to get the top guys in. I didn't realize that. Now I do remember uh, one year, is it, are they qualifying for something else when they're here at the Hood County Stampede? Yes, yeah, so the money, every dollar won is a point to okay. go to the National Finals Rodeo okay. in Las Vegas. Okay. And uh, this year we have 15,000 added. It's a one head, top 36 in the world coming, and just bareback riding only. And so they're trying to qualify to be in the top 15 to go to the National Finals Rodeo. And so this is a bigger rodeo for the bareback riding, and that's why we get all the top guys come. That's awesome. Any names you want to throw out there? Uh, a hometown favorite, uh, Tilden Hooper okay. will be here, NFR Cowboy. Um, also right down the road, Rocker Steiner will be here. Okay. Uh, another couple of guys that have been in contentions for a world title. Rocker's just pretty young and see him as being a world champion. There's a three-time world champion, uh, Will Lowe's coming. Um, just to name a couple, I uh, looked through the list uh, last night. Uh, we just closed our entries for that. And there's 15 or 16 guys that have been to the NFR and a lot of the guys that are in the top 15 right now that are coming. Very cool, so it's gonna be a good show. Yes, ma'am. And beyond that, the Hood County Stampede gives back to a, a, a great cause in our community. Yes, it does. This year, um, we chose the Bo Bear Foundation okay. to okay. try to raise money for. And what do they do? Bo Bear Foundation, uh, they go in and help out families that suffered from a tragic loss of, of like losing a child. Mm. And not only mentoring, uh, being there for them in loving care and also providing money, uh, food, shelter, things of that nature, counseling to those families. The uh, Mills family suffered a tragic loss and they have really come a long ways and realized the need uh, that families need the mentoring mm -hmm. alongside of them to handle those tragic losses. Wow. And um, they're, they took something so so bad in their life and God has put them in a good spot and to be able to mentor, mentor, mm -hmm. mentor to people and give it a purpose and give mm -hmm. back and our hearts go out to them. It's a, a foundation where everything, every bit of it goes to the families. And so even the people you're, if they're buying a ticket for $10, $15, uh -huh. they're coming and watching a good show, yeah. but they're also helping out a great cause. Okay, so talk to me about day of the event. What time do gates open? Okay. Uh, as you come in, we've got doors that open at six okay. uh, at this I event. Gates. Doors. Yes. <laughs> we can say it either way. Um, what time you, can I'm I come? used to production, and so uh, we always say doors in production to the crowd and everything. Gates open at six o'clock. Okay. Uh, and it is kind of a free for all on the seating. So okay. first come, first serve on the seating. Oh. And so getting here a little bit early does mm -hmm. help you out to get your preferred seating. Okay. at this event. How much are tickets? And tickets are 15 for adults, 10 for children. Not bad at all. And then you can also get a cooler. 
Okay. And so if you prefer, you can put whatever you want to drink, eat in there. If you don't, you can save uh, some money with the family or you can put in there an adult beverage of your choice. No glass, okay. please. Uh, so we can bring a cooler or we can get a cooler? You can bring your own cooler. Okay. And it's $20 to get okay. your cooler in, put okay. whatever you want in that, just as long as it's not glass in there. And uh, we got to do that for the protection of our animals and Absolutely. people out here. Mm -hmm. um, as you come in, there's a lot of activities. We got vendors you can go check out. If you get here a little bit early, Rock and Robbie Hodges will be here. Okay. Uh, some of the guys with their opening, they're all special forces guys, Rangers, Navy SEALs. They're going to be here with their horses. They're really great about bringing up the horses and let the people pet them and, and talk to mm -hmm. them. And so if you got kids that, that hadn't been around horses a lot, that's a fun activity for mm -hmm. them to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and then we'll get started with our show. Okay. We've also got some games going on during the, for crowd interaction. We've got raffle balls, so you purchase these balls, you throw them in the arena, ah. and you, we have three different coolers you could win. Closest to the cooler wins the balls. Nice. And then we also do a raffle, a uh, different ball that we'll throw out, and somebody can win a uh, Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 mag. Nice. And that's kind of a fun game to play too. Mm -hmm. After the show's over, we'll sell it, and up on top of the hill, uh, Rock and Robbie Hodges will be going and headlining uh, for our music. There's the a few, after party. The after party, okay. and so uh, it, people that have been here before on bigger events know it, the parking can bottleneck a little bit. Mm -hmm. What and do we so, do about that? So we set that up to where to kind of slow down to where you don't have to be in a big hurry. Okay. We got music and entertainment. You can take your cooler with the beverage of your choice and hang out, dance okay. a little bit if you want to, or just listen to some music and and chill and hang out. Uh, a lot of the cowboys that are riding, the world champions, NFR guys come up there and uh -huh. kind of socialize and meet the people mm -hmm. and it's a fun time. If you got kids that want to get autographs from them, that's all available cool. as well. Now you guys do have a meet and greet prior to the event. Yes, we do. At Barron's Creek the Thursday before, okay. uh, we have a meet and greet. There will be uh, Tilden Hooper, Will Lowe, Robbie Hodges. Uh, there's a few other guys that are still technical whether they'll be there or yeah. not, if they're going to try to come in and uh, we'll have live music there at Barron's Creek. Really? But if you want to keep up on this, check it out on social media uh, awesome. with Hood County Stampede on Facebook or Instagram. Okay, we'll do and, that. And uh, you can keep up to date with all the different activities we have going on. Sometimes we add some other stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? Since we're raising money for kids, if you can't come and support the event, you're busy, th life happens, please go on social media yes. and share it. And just getting word of mouth out about Hood County Stampede, getting word of mouth out about the Bo Bear Foundation, mm -hmm. that all helps as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I remember being here one year. I know we got this incredible statue through, I want to say it was an auction that was happening out here. But there's there, there's food and different stands and shopping that goes on, right? Yes, we, um, up top we'll have vendors that are lined up and so there will be uh, food and drinks, vendors available and some other action. Uh, after the rodeo's done, we'll set up a stage, we'll play a little music, really? and uh, so if people want to just hang out, fellowship a little bit, mm -hmm. have a beverage of your choice, mm -hmm. and you can do that as well. Okay, what kind of music? Just, uh, it's uh, more just kind of country music. Okay, very cool. Just pretty basic. Yeah, and it's such a great view here. I mean, I've never been up top right here, but you can see the lake, and you can see the uh, clock tower, Granbury Square. It's just a whole, I don't know. It's a gorgeous setting. It is. Uh, I think this is one of the hidden spots in Granbury. A lot of people don't realize where mm -hmm. it's at. Reunion Grounds here, you can see over the lake, see the town is mm -hmm. a beautiful setting to have an event. Absolutely. Do you have any, um, I, I recall in years past, uh, people flying down. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Is that stuff you don't want to give away? <laughs> well, that's we have a opening this year that's a little bit different from what okay. we've done in the past, and okay. that's going to be a surprise for everybody. Okay, that's going to be a surprise. Yep. I won't pry then. All right. And how do we learn more about the Hood County Stampede? You can go to hoodcountystampede.com. It's got our stories on there. Okay. Uh, you can go on there and also uh, subscribe to be on our email list, which gives out all the information of what's going on. We also do a gala in okay. October at a private ranch. If people want to come with that, we've got Great Divide coming out for that this oh, year. Oh, nice. So October. In October. Okay. So it's the first Saturday in October this year. And, uh, but coming out to this event is, uh, it's a fun setting. It is. As we know, 
this town has a lot of adult activities mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And that's where we saw the need, or I was told there is a need anyway, that there needs to be a few more family friendly activities. I and that's what that, we're trying 100%. to put on is, yeah, awesome. is a, an affordable event that's a good show to bring your whole family to. I love it. Memorial Day weekend. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for giving back, putting this together, and being with us today, or letting us to come out here. Yeah, beautiful spot. <laughs> thank you for coming out. Absolutely.